The 2002 FIFA World Cup final was a football match that took place on 30 June 2002 at the International Stadium in Yokohama to determine the winner of the 2002 FIFA World Cup. The final was contested by Germany and Brazil. It was the first World Cup meeting between the two sides. Brazil won the match 2–0, winning a record fifth title. Ronaldo, who became the record World Cup goalscorer at the 2006 tournament, scored two of his 15 World Cup goals in the second half of the match, leading Brazil to the title and winning the Golden Boot Award. It also marked Brazilian captain Cafu's third consecutive appearance in a World Cup final, a feat that has yet to be accomplished by any other player in the history of the tournament. Both teams had won their respective groups before advancing to the knockout stage, where Germany shut out all of their opponents to reach the final, while Brazil only allowed a single goal from England. Germany overcame United States and co-host South Korea, while Brazil knocked out England and Turkey. The title marked Brazil's fifth World Cup championship, which is more than any other team has achieved. They also became the first team to win all seven matches in the current 32-team format Brazil had previously achieved a similar feat in the 16-team 1970 tournament with six wins, and the first to win all their knockout matches without any extra time or penalty shootout later equaled by France in 2018. Brazil also became the first team to win the World Cup outside Europe and the Americas. Germany lost the World Cup final for its fourth time, another tournament record. They were attempting to equal Brazil for most World Cup wins, as they already had three. To date, it is the latest World Cup won by a South American team. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Route to the final. Germany Prior to the tournament, Germany were plagued by a series of injuries to key players. Sebastian Deisler, a star player, would not be able to play in the tournament due to a knee injury suffered in a friendly match against Austria, only two days before the team left for Japan. The team's medical staff was at first confident that Deisler would be able to play, but later pulled him out due to fears of his safety. At first we had a glimmer of hope, but now the most important thing to think about is the health of Sebastian rather than the World Cup," said team manager Rudy Voller. In addition, midfielder Mehmet Scholl and defenders Christian Verns and Jens Novotny all missed the tournament due to injury. Germany was drawn into Group E, along with Republic of Ireland and the low ranking Saudi Arabia and Cameroon. In their opening match at the Sapporo Dome against Saudi Arabia, they showed dominance, defeating them 8 0. Miroslav Klose scored a hat-trick, one of six players on the German team to score a goal. In their next game against Ireland, Germany held a 1–0 lead throughout much of the game. However, with only a few seconds left in stoppage time, Irish player Robbie Keane, scored the equalising goal against German goalkeeper Oliver Kahn. The goal held and the match ended in a 1–1 draw, awarding Germany only one point in the standings. Needing a win to finish first in their group, Germany entered their final match against Cameroon one point ahead of the Irish in the group. However, Germany easily beat Cameroon in a 2–0 game at Shizuoka Stadium, with Closer scoring his fifth goal of the tournament. Germany finished first place in Group E with seven points, two wins, and a draw, and advanced into the first stage of the knockout round. In the first stage of the knockout round, Germany faced Paraguay, the runner up in Group B, at Jeju World Cup Stadium. The game remained a very defensive one, as there were no goals scored in the first half and well into the second half. 
In the 88th minute, first time, Oliver Nerville scored, winning the game for Germany. In the quarterfinals, Germany faced United States, who had surprisingly made it far into the tournament. Although they were significantly outshot 11–6, the Germans were still able to pull away with a 1–0 win. The single goal scored in the match came from Michael Ballack in the 38th minute. In the semi final, Germany faced the co host nation South Korea at the Seoul World Cup Stadium. Like the game against Paraguay, it was a defensive struggle throughout the first half and into the second half. However, before any goals were scored, a key moment in the tournament occurred. In the 71st minute, Balak picked up his second yellow card of the knockout round, therefore disqualifying him from the next game. However, just four minutes later into the game, Balak came through for Germany and scored, which turned out to be the only goal of the game. With the 1–0 win, the Germans moved into the final to face Brazil, the first World Cup meeting between the two. Topic: Brazil. Brazil was drawn into Group C along with China, PR, Costa Rica, and Turkey. In the previous World Cup in 1998, Brazil had made it to the finals, but then lost 3–0 to the host nation France. In an interview, Brazilian midfielder Juninho Paulista stated that both the team and the people in Brazil were both somewhat pessimistic about the upcoming World Cup squad due to the loss to France. Following the 1998 loss, the team hired a new head coach, Luiz Felipe Scolari, following tenures by Vandele Luxembourgo whose contract was terminated after elimination at the quarter-finals of the football tournament at the 2000 Summer Olympics and Emerson Leao who experienced a short, disastrous stint, in which the underpowered Brazilian team risked not getting through the qualifiers. Felipe preferred a more different style of football than previous coaches, which he called, "...bully boy soccer". In this style of play emphasis is placed on aggressive play and hard tackling, which was in contrast to the more finesse play of previous Brazilian teams. On 3 June, Brazil played its first match of the group stage against eventual group runner-up Turkey. In stoppage time at the end of the first half, Turkey's Hassan Shash scored, leaving Brazil down 1–0 at half-time. In the second half, Brazil's Ronaldo responded quickly by leveling the scores at 1–1 in the 50th minute. The score remained tied until well late into the game. In the 86th minute, Turkish defender Alpe Azalan brought down Brazilian striker Luizeo in the penalty area, prompting a red card for Alpe and a penalty kick that Rivaldo converted. The match score finished at 2–1, Brazil victorious. The game was also notable for an incident, where Turkish defender Hakan Unsel kicked a ball towards Rivaldo which struck his thigh, but Rivaldo fell to the ground clutching his face. The referee sent the Turkish player off with a second yellow card, while Rivaldo was fined 11,670 Swiss francs by FIFA following a video review. In their second game against China at Ulsan Munsu Football Stadium, the Brazilians fared much more easily. Roberto Carlos, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho, and Ronaldo all scored for Brazil, the first three goals being in the first half. With this win, Brazil also knocked the Chinese team out of the World Cup with their second loss. In their final game against Costa Rica, Brazil was very strong offensively. In a 5–2 win, Ronaldo scored two goals, one of four Brazilian players to score in the match. Brazil finished in first place in their group with nine points and scoring 11 goals, advancing to the round of 16 with ease, entering the elimination round with a perfect record. Brazil faced Group H runner-up Belgium in the first stage. The game remained scoreless at half-time, as both teams had good goalkeeping. 
In the 67th minute, striker Rivaldo scored for Brazil. Ronaldo added on a second goal in the 87th minute, solidifying the win for Brazil at 2–0. England faced Brazil in the quarter-finals, and got ahead early with a goal by forward Michael Owen in the 23rd minute. The scores were leveled in the first half stoppage time, when Rivaldo scored in his second straight match just before the half was called. Following half time, forward Ronaldinho scored for Brazil, putting them in the lead. Only seven minutes later, Ronaldinho was red carded by referee Felipe Ramos Rizzo of Mexico and therefore suspended for the next match. Although they played with only 10 men, the Brazilians were able to prevent a second goal from their English opponents and advanced into the semi finals to face Turkey. In the semi final, the Sons Ronaldinho Brazil faced Turkey for the second time at Saitama Stadium. The game, unlike the first meeting between the teams, had a strong showing of defence by both sides. The game was a scoreless tie at half-time, but this soon changed. Only four minutes after the half in the 49th minute, Ronaldo again came through for Brazil, scoring what ended up being the only goal of the match. With this low-scoring victory, the Brazilians moved on to attempt to win a record fifth World Cup title, against the aforementioned German squad. Topic Background Topic Broadcasting and Venue Over two hundred nations and territories broadcast the final over radio and television. In totality, 232 television channels broadcast the match, which was a new record for a World Cup final only later to be broken in 2006. The final had the highest television audience of the entire tournament, attracting over 63 million viewers in Nielsen-measured countries. The Germany–South Korea match was a close second, as much of the host nation viewed the game to support their team. It was the highest viewed non-finals match in World Cup history. The game was played at International Stadium Yokohama, where three other matches in the World Cup were previously held. The stadium was the largest in the tournament as well as the largest in the entire nation of Japan, seating over 70,000 spectators. In all, about 260,000 people attended matches in this stadium throughout the World Cup, which, at the time, was a new record. <laughs> Match ball. The match ball for this game was the Adidas Fivanova, a ball specifically made for the World Cup. The ball's design was different from the normal, tango, type of three-pointed shapes connecting each hexagon, instead introducing a different, triangle-like shape on four hexagons. This look and color usage was entirely based on Asian culture. It also featured a refined syntactic foam layer, to give the ball superior performance characteristics, and a three-layer knitted chassis, allowing for a more precise and predictable flight path. However, this ball was notoriously criticized for being too light, yet some spectacular goals were scored with it during the tournament. The ball was also blamed for a number of upsets that happened in the knockout stages. Italian goalkeeper Gianluigi Buffon called the ball, a ridiculous kiddies bouncing ball, while Brazil's Adilson criticized the ball as being, too big and too light. <laughs> <laughs> Match <laughs> Summary 
Coming into the match, Germany looked to have an uphill task to beat Brazil, as although they had scored 14 goals by the time of the final, eight of those goals were scored against Saudi Arabia, and the Europeans were coming off back-to-back-to-back 1-0 wins. Adding to the German hardship, midfielder Michael Ballack who scored the winning goals in both the quarter-final against the United States and the semi-final against South Korea, would miss the game due to a suspension. Still, the Germans could take solace in their shot-stopper Oliver Kahn who was in the midst of what is considered one of the greatest individual World Cup performances of all time. Khan had only conceded one goal, to Robbie Keane of Ireland, up to this point in the tournament. Brazil would claim their fifth, World Cup title, over the resilient German side. Ronaldo missed a chance in the 19th minute when he was put through on Oliver Kahn by Ronaldinho, putting his shot wide of the target. The next big chance of the game would fall to the legs Ronaldo in the 30th minute, as he was once again put through by Ronaldinho, this time he was unable to put much power on the shot as he was put under pressure by Thomas Linker, and Khan saved his effort. Claverson would have the next chances of the match, putting the first wide in the 42nd minute, and hitting the bar from long range in the 45th minute. Ronaldo missed his third scoring chance in stoppage time, when a Roberto Carlos pass evaded all the German defenders, this time Ronaldo hit the shot well, but Kahn saved it with his outstretched foot. Germany had their first major chance of the evening a minute into the second half, when a corner found an unmarked Jens Jeremies, but his header was blocked by the foot of Edmilson. In the 50th minute, Germany almost scored when Oliver Nerville struck a free kick from long range, Marcos tipped the brilliant strike onto the post. For the majority of the match, Brazil's dominance in the middle of the pitch forced attacking midfielder Bernd Schneider to spend most of his time helping the German defence. This left Nerville, and the man who would one day become the World Cup's record goalscorer, Miroslav Klose, isolated against the three Brazilian central defenders Ed Milson, Roque Jr., and future captain Lucio. Save from his brilliant free kick, Nerville had little impact on the game, and Klose was unable to make any notable impact against the tight marking of the Brazilians. Brazil would open the scoring in the 67th minute in a sequence that started with Ronaldo winning the ball from Dietmar Hamann in the German half of the pitch. Ronaldo passed to Rivaldo who struck a low shot towards goal. Kahn attempted to catch the shot, but he was unable to, and in doing so spilled a rebound. Ronaldo, who had followed Rivaldo's shot, and despite the rebound being relatively short, took advantage of Khan being off balance, scoring the rebound into the bottom corner before Khan could recover. The Brazilians scored their second goal 12 minutes later, after a mazy run from Claverson from just beyond the halfway line caused confusion in the German defence. This run led to Brazil having a four attackers against Germany's three defenders. Claverson passed towards Rivaldo, who was in the centre of the pitch and a yard outside the German penalty area, and Linker came from covering Ronaldo to pressure Rivaldo, but Rivaldo let the ball pass through his legs, and the pace on Claverson's pass found Ronaldo, who now had a chance from the centre edge of the German penalty area. German forward Gerald Asamoah tracked back well, and he was almost able to block the shot, but Ronaldo used his first touch to take the ball away from Asamoah, and passed the ball into the bottom corner of Khan's net with his second. Germany had the best chance of the game in the 83rd minute when Oliver Bierhoff hit a first-time shot towards goal from the penalty spot, but Marcos got down brilliantly to save the shot, and Germany were unable to threaten for the rest of the match. <laughs> <laughs> Details Topic Statistics
Topic: Post match. Despite being present, the Japanese Emperor Akihito did not join the ceremony of presenting the winners the World Cup trophy as it was against Japanese customs. FIFA president Sepp Blatter and former Brazilian World Cup winner Pelé handed the trophy to Brazilian captain Cafu on the pitch stage. <laughs> 